I'm Jason Barr, University of Arizona football practice, where the Wildcats officially open Big 12 play this Saturday at number 10 Utah, a former Pac-12 opponent. Coordinator Dino Babers with a blunt evaluation of the Wildcats offense over the first three games. Good, bad, and in the middle. It might have to be great to win at Utah, and it starts with quarterback Noah Fafita. As he go, we go. And the advice to number 11 isn't something you typically hear a coach say. I think the biggest thing is with guys that spend as much time on the game and that they are so laser focused as he is, I like to use the term, try less harder. I think Coach Baber is just trying to get me to have fun and kind of get me to uh, just play the game how I grew up playing the game. Just relax. Come off the tee, and I'm sure the ball is going to go long and straight if you don't think about it. But what about Fafita's receivers, and who's going to compliment Tedaroa McMillan? Tight end Kean Burnett was supposed to have a breakout year, but apparently injuries have limited the second-generation Wildcat to just three receptions. I think the biggest thing is he has to get over some alleys. He's had some alleys in the first two games. This uh, bye week's been good for him. He's moving around better than I've seen him in a while. And hopefully that fresh guy that we saw in the spring, the guy we saw in August, is going to show up on uh, Saturday. Focusing on making sure I'm in the right spot and uh, doing what the offense and doing what Noah needs me to do to, to get open. Noah Fafita has two uncles who went to the University of Utah. Grew up watching a lot of Utah games, so I kind of know a lot about their past, which is why I have a lot of respect for them. And Fafita's first touchdown pass came at Utah two years ago, but it was in a 45-20 loss. It's a place where I don't think there's a lot of people that brags that they've had a lot of success playing there, yet we have to go up there and give us our best shot. We know it's going to be hard. At last check, the Wildcats are a 12-and-a-half point underdog. Inside the Davis Sports Center, I'm Jason Barr, KGA 9.